All right, guys, so today what I'm going to do is take the Mavic up and I'm actually going to shut down the DJI Go app and I'm also going to shut down the remote controller while I'm up in the air flying. So the first part is going to be when I'm actually up in the air and just in a hovering position. Now, before I'm going to start all this, uh, I have already tested the return to home function and I do have the gimbal cover on it just in case. All right, so let's go ahead and launch. Take off. All right, so that's pretty good height there to go ahead and mess around with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and shut down the app. So here goes nothing. Okay, apps just shut down and the Mavic is just holding its position hovering. So that's good to know, right? Give it a couple seconds here, still holding position. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the remote control. So let's see what happens there. Okay, shut down. The Mavic is currently holding its position and now it's actually doing the return to home. So that's good to know, right? And now it's right above the home point and it should be doing the rotation now, which it is. And what I'm going to do is as it's coming down, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the remote control and see what happens there. Okay, remote control coming on, says it's connecting. The Mavic is still descending. And then now I see on the control, it says it's in the landing mode and you can hear the beeping. So now it's about six feet above ground and it is just hovering. No, oh, no, it's coming down. It's about two feet one feet and whoop, it decided not to land or right now it's trying to land again no i don't know it's just kind of going up and down right now and so there we go oh there we go landed beautiful all right so that's definitely what you wanted to do and then what i'm going to do now is go ahead and get the app open again All right, good, everything normal. And you can see it's still recording. So that's good to know as well, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into one of the intelligent flight modes. Actually, I'm gonna try two of them. One would be point of interest and the other one would be the waypoints flight mode. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. So let's go ahead and launch. Okay, this looks like a good spot. Point down. Let's move a little bit over to the side to the middle of that road there. Go into point of interest mode. Okay, get a little bit more centered to the road. Record. Go out a little bit till I get the blue letters that says me says to me that I'm far enough. Hit apply, and now it's going around in a rotation here. I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit here. All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and shut down the app. All right, app is closed, 
and you could see there that the Mavic is just doing the point of interest mode and on the remote controller it says point of interest mode so it's just keeping the flight mode that it was when uh, right before I shut down the app okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn off the remote controller and let's see what happens okay remote controller is just shut down and the Mavic is just staying in its flight mode going around in a circle so that's all good and so I would imagine it's just going to keep doing that until we give it a new command obviously we'd have to turn everything back on so I am going to go ahead and turn on the remote controller first okay it says it's connecting and now the display says it's I'm in point of interest mode I'm gonna go ahead and use the controls a little bit and just make sure I've got control over the Mavic so I'm moving out from the uh, point of interest point and I'm gonna go up in altitude too and it's responding as well so all is good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the app back on Okay, so just kept doing what it was doing before I shut everything down, so that's beautiful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this mode, and I'm going to bring it back here so I can go ahead and do a waypoint mission. All right. Start there, go into waypoints. All right, new mission. And let's go ahead and set a waypoint just a little bit out front here. I'm going to set a couple here because I'm going to go ahead and do the same things I did before and make sure I have enough time to shut, those, uh, shut the app down and shut the remote controller down while I'm still in the waypoint mission. All right, I'm going to record a waypoint right here. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply and execute the waypoint mission. Here we go. Okay, right now it's heading to the first waypoint, and then soon after that, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the app. Okay, now it's going to the second waypoint, and here it goes nothing, right? Go up, shut down, and the Mavic is just going to the second waypoint, making the turn to the third waypoint, all's good. And then the last step here is I'm going to go ahead and turn, on the, turn off the remote control, so let's see what happens there. All right, remote control is shutting down, now off, and the Mavic is going to the last and final waypoint. Okay, and now it's reached the final waypoint, and it's actually gaining altitude because it's going to return home sensing that the remote controller's off so that's what it's going to do return home all right it's hovering right above me i'm going to go ahead and turn on the remote controller again because i'm sure it'll just land like it should be but let's just see what happens when i try and regain control with the remote control okay remote control is connecting mavic is still coming down here you can hear the remote control it says landing on the screen and let's see what happens here I'll just let it continue on here yep didn't like
like that. Try again. Almost. Yep. <laughs> All right. So that's kind of funny there, but uh, it did land. And the beautiful thing here is that when you have issues with your phone and the app shutting down or whatever, your phone shuts down, the remote control shuts down, or you lose signal, now you know what's going to happen. All right. So hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, if you like this video, I've got a lot more videos. I love this thing. I love making videos. I love trying to come up with some new stuff that would be helpful for you guys. So please hit that like button or subscribe and uh, happy flying you guys. Bye.